Hi, I would like to show you my next video regarding my Python 12 app. This video will be about uh, showing you how to create new Valve families, editing the existing Valve families inside the sample catalog and just making it in the most efficient way and putting it into your 3D model the fastest possible way. So let's get started with the spec editor. I have to open the spec editor. I have a blank page here. I will open the same catalog. I mean the same spec sheet, sorry. I will open the same spec sheet as in my previous video. So I will go to my documents folder, pipe supports projects and from the spec sheet I will open the 10HC01 so it will also open all the catalogs which have relationship with, with this spec sheet so the two DIN catalogs which is provided by Autodesk and my catalog the Python 12 catalog is also here so as you can see here are the valves included in this catalog this is the sample catalog what I provide and uh, you will have it also after the installation of my app so as i mentioned in my earlier video it is very very important that you do not really want to work in this file because if you reinstall my app this file will go to default state so all changes will be lost what i will do is go to the catalog editor this is where you can edit the actual catalog here you can only edit the spec sheet i mean just adding stuff from the bottom to the top so i go to the catalog editor now we are editing the catalog here this is the python web catalog so first thing first i will just go and hit new catalog and it is asking for me from me source catalog name so i will choose cpec come on python web version one zero zero python web catalog this will be my source catalog name and the new catalog name will be i don't know i will put it to the cpec common and i will say my custom verbs it meant this, which is save in hungarian and i hit create so now I have a new catalog called My Custom Valves, and this catalog contains all the valves which were already on the source catalog, which is my Python valve catalog. So from now on, you are safe, and uh, all changes that you are making on this catalog will remain as it is, even though you are reinstalling my app 100 times. This is the right way to start to be sure to keep your work as it is not overwriting it with the default file so let's say you want to have a butterfly valve my sizes are okay for you but let's say you are having a different uh, standard i mean different manufacturer than i usually use in my models so let's say the thickness of the valve is different so the thickness is a1 so that so just assume that for all sizes your thickness for the butterfly valves is let's say five millimeter thicker just five millimeter but it makes a difference because then the spools will be shorter i mean if the valve is thicker the connecting pipes are shorter so you have to edit this file i mean this valve family uh, you have many many sizes so it can be a little tiring to just hit 30 right over with 35 save to catalog go to the next one again 30 35 and go on like this it can be done but maybe okay you have 100 valves to change so i have some faster ways to show you so i go back and write back the 30 for both and now what i will do is duplicate component i mean 
maybe I will need this file. I mean, maybe this thickness is actually right. And for some other project, I will use this valve. So I hit duplicate component and my valve name will be, I mean, part from my name will be Python butterfly valve manual class five create. Okay. And short this to the short description, I will also put this plus five name because uh, just a hint, this short description is the name what you will see in the actual tool palette in the plan 3D. So you should write some recognizable text here. Otherwise you will not remember which valve is which in the actual model. So I hit save to catalog. So I have this entry here, you see, but Python butterfly valve manual plus five. And the short description is very similar. Here is the sizes tab. So this is the general properties here is the sizes tab. And now I can start changing all the geometry with a1 35. You have two options to do it a little bit faster, not just clicking here, all the sizes. One is show advanced editing table. You see, there will be a table down, and this table shows all the parameters you have for this part family. So you just go to A1 and hit 35, 35, 30. 8, 48, 51, and so on. So this is one option. I just hit save to catalog. I already changed five lines, but I think there is even a more efficient way to do this. I mean, for changing just one column, it is quite okay. But, but if you have to change bunch of parameters. You have to change L1, D5, D3, D1, T1, and so on. So you have to change many, many parameters. Then I would recommend using these two buttons. First, export to Excel. So I hit export to Excel. And what it does is exporting all the data, what you can change to an Excel format. And you can work in Excel and then import it back and all changes will be validated here and you do not have to mess in the spec editor. So just I browse, I go to my desktop, this folder, and I hit just one, one point X slash. I am okay with that name now and hit okay. So it will take some time because Actually, this Excel file will contain all the data in this catalog. So it is a little bit a big Excel file now. I mean, it is not that big, but getting big. Okay, I think it is finished. So here is one point Excel. I open it. So here is the Excel file. And uh, as you can see, there are many, many tabs down for all part families. I go to this manual butterfly plus five, which is our newly created valve. And we have a red warning by Excel that um, you are warned that you have some risk editing this file, but just ignore it, go here and editing anyhow. Okay, here is the A1 and I changed until the fifth line. So I go down just 51, 57, 61, 61, 65, 73, 83, 81, That's all. I mean, uh, you can even make a formula to do this in some other column and then copy it back. If you have multiple cells or many more lines, so I just hit save. This 1.x slash is now saved. I go back to the spec editor and just hit import from Excel. I open this 1.x slash. Now the spec editor is checking what kind of changes I have made. And here it is. So in the catalog part, 
in valves you see this is that is a yellow mark in the manual butterfly valve plus five there is some changes and what are the changes these are the changes the yellow ones and i hit okay i hit accept all changes yellow marking is gone and then i hit okay and if i save to catalog hide the advanced editing table and i go here you can see that a1 has been changed according to what i wanted if i go back to the spec editor i can add this python butterfly valve manual plus five to my spec sheet and i will have an additional type of butterfly valve in my tool palette in plan 3d just follow my instructions in my previous video how to update the spec you are good to go you have a modified butterfly valve catalog also if you fully not like what i've created from my scripts you can just go to the catalog editor and anytime just hit create new component and with this if you select the valves you will have this for nice geometry to choose from so for example if you want to create a totally new butterfly valve from scratch just hit this icon choose imperial or metric whatever you want i hit metric and i hit let's say just 50 to 50 the size i hit create so we have this new item it does not have any name so I will hit long description, new butterfly valve. This will be the name. I copy this to the short description as well. And you might want to fill up this ISO symbol type. The type shall be always valve for valves. And the ISO symbol S key is a little bit trickier. I will link in the description a PDF file from where you can check what kind of S keys are possibly be used here. For now, just enter ZBFL. Uh, this is for the valve type uh, icon and FL means it is a flange type. I mean, the connection is with flange. Okay, and type is FL for now. Uh, facing, I usually enter C and pressure class is 10, I mean, usually for our project it's 10 bar piping so i go back so this is the general tab oh and i click on the all ports have the same properties yes i want to have both of them with the settings now i can go to the sizes tab and for this 50 size i enter the connecting pipe diameter we see which is 60.3 millimeter and all ports have the same properties yes and now I can start messing around with the sizes based on the little bit complicated drawing what I have provided for you. So you can change all the parameters here, but I am not doing it right now. And just I hit save to catalog and here it is. The new butterfly valve is in the catalog. So if I go back to the spec editor tab, I can also add this new butterfly valve to my spec sheet, add to spec. So now I have added this edited butterfly valve and the brand new butterfly valve. And I just hit save. And if I go to the plan 3D, I will have two additional butterfly valve, which are both customized for my needs. Thank you for watching and see you until next time.